challenges today for my individual assessment the ball that I got was question number five which was economics finance and entrepreneurship and the title was how will I use my 200 ringgit for a festival now 200 ringgit is quite a lot especially for a young girl like me so for this budget I will use it wisely but first let me explain the festival that I celebrate like all Indians and Hindus, I celebrate Diwali. Diwali is also known as the Festival of Lights. It's also the festival which is known as the gods who got triumphed over evil. Now, before I use the money, I will save 50 ringgit for charity. This is because I am concerned on the conditions of those who are poor and homeless. So with that 50 ringgit, I can help many people. I can save people's lives with that 50 ringgit. So I thought if I could save that much of money, maybe it would be suitable enough. I would also buy lights and decorative items. And as I said before, it was also the festival of lights. So it would be suitable if I buy lights, such as lights, lanterns, and many more. In this way, as I hang it out around the house, it will look bright and shining in the night. It also makes people feel comfortable at home. I will also buy sweets or snacks for the guests. The traditional sweets such as laddu and muruku, which all Indians eat. This is to make the guests who come to the festival feel comfortable and make them feel at home. I would like to explain to everybody why am I using this money to buy these items. This is because Deepavali is also a festival to know each other and to bond new relationships during festivals. Not only Deepavali, Christmas, New Year's, all these festivals actually shows us that when we celebrate it, we need to use our monies wisely and we have to understand that all festivals should be conducted in such a way that everyone would feel comfortable in celebrating the festival. So this 200 ringgit that I used up is actually for charity to help others, for lights so that it will be known that Deepavali is also known as the festival of lights and finally buying sweets and snacks for guests is also something which everyone will understand that is to make people feel at home and feel comfortable. Now all these items are suitable for a, for a simple festival like Deepavali because guests want to feel, make them feel like themselves at home and buying items like these can be easy and for those who are poor feeling homelessness these people need money so that they can have enough for themselves so i think 50 ringgit would also be enough for charity that is why 50 ringgit would be for charity and the remaining money was for lights decorative items sweets and snacks and i know that all of you think that this is quite simple but I think this is enough to make a festival feel easy and not that, well, harsh or uncomfortable. And that is all I would like to say about my items. And I hope it is satisfying enough for whatever I am talking about. Thank you. Okay. I, uh, I can see that you are very generous with your money. Okay, would you, wouldn't you like to spend some on yourself, like buying clothes? Uh, you know, because uh, the first item that you'd like to spend on was charity that I heard, okay, and it's very noble, okay, but wouldn't you like to spend some on yourself? Well, actually, yes, but I thought if charity, because I want to think more about others than just myself. So, just that 50 ringgit can help charity, isn't it? Yeah. But definitely, I would also buy some things for myself. And not just for myself, maybe for my sisters and my brother. Because they also need something new during Deepawali. 
So maybe if I had a little bit more money, maybe I would spend that on buying new clothes, new items such as books, for maybe to read during the celebration, and yes, many more. Okay, we, you know, Malaysia, we have different sort of festivals, right? Yes. Yes, oh, right. Do you, um, okay, just name a few and then... Um, Tell us how to celebrate this different festival with your friends. Okay, actually there are a few festivals which is known in Malaysia since Malaysia is a multiracial country and a multicultural country. Such as Christmas, um, um, Hari Raya and Chinese New Year. So how would I celebrate these festivals? It's actually quite simple. Christmas is a fun-loving festival where all people would like to celebrate as they usually hear myths such as Santa Claus giving presents in the night. Well, so that's, in fact, I enjoy those myths as we don't have to look at it as a myth, but we have to look at it as a story which we can believe at some times. So I'll celebrate it by giving other people presents, knowing new people, and lots more which are suitable for celebrating this festival. For Hari Raya Idol Fitri, it is also a festival which is very mainly known across Malaysia and sometimes even across the globe. So to celebrate Hari Raya, I will usually go visit my family and friends who are far away such as in Kuala Lumpur, in Malacca and sometimes in Penang to greet them as that is the spirit of Hari Raya. And finally, <coughs> Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is to mark the, the Lunar New Year for Chinese. So, since I have a few Chinese relatives, I would meet them and I would give them angpaos, which is actually money, in an amount for about a hundred ringgit, so that they would feel comfortable to be around me and they would feel that I am treating them in such a way that they are comfortable and suitable with. So yes, this is how I might celebrate my the festivals. All right. Um, okay, coming back to the point where you made, you said you're going to give fifty ringgit to charity. Yes. And you say this may save lives, correct? Yes. How? Could you just elaborate on that? Okay. Actually, it is quite easy. Not to say that it is easy to just give money and save lives. No. What I mean is that some people are living with heart attacks, tuberculosis, leprosy. So I want to help them because these problems are increasing year after year, as some of these researchers say. So maybe about 20 and 30 ringgit, I could maybe save it and then give it to the doctors or whoever is in charge to take care of these problems. And sometimes even for orphans who are suffering problems, and are very very weak and contribute to them by giving donations in the charity and in this way it gets to help them and with the right amount of money maybe it could treat them and it could help them to make them feel much more better so in this way i think 50 ringgit could be just enough to save other people's lives and sometimes even children's lives all right thank you Yes. I was just wondering. Okay, this is something. Uh, uh, okay, just out of the box. Uh, do you have any special song that you can relate to in accordance to a uh, festival? A festival. Um. Usually, like Christmas, they have your song like Merry Christmas, like uh, a la 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 do songs and. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, Deepavali also they have their songs. But they are much more traditional than Christmas because Christmas is Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. But Deepavali has many songs. There are numerous of songs for Deepavali. And not to mention Hari Raya, they have many more songs indicating the celebration of Hari Raya. Well, in accordance of Deepavali, in accordance of Christmas, I think I don't have to name the songs, but one thing I should say. There are many songs and not only they are created to celebrate but they are also created to make the, the festival more merry, more happily fe uh, celebrated and to make it more, you know, suitable for the festival. 
So in accordance with the festivals, I don't have to name the songs, but I can say they are quite, they can be classic, traditional, merry, and many more. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, can, can we have your note?